Hi, in this video, let me show you how to set up a free control panel for VPS hosting. It doesn't matter which VPS you're using. And in this video, I'm going to use Contabo VPS. And in the process, we are going to activate a free SSL using Cloudflare, and then also going to connect multiple domains in using that free control panel. So let's get started. So in this video, I'm going to use Contabo VPS. First, let me log in. And then once you come to this, uh, what you're going to do is I would actually encourage you to first reset or reinstall your server or the operating system because there's a likely chance that the VPS, uh, when you're buying it, you phone with uh, you phone it with a default panel that the provider gives you. So in this case, I'm going to manage and reinstall. So if you're using a different version, kindly, if you can be sure that you're only having a plain operating system like Ubuntu or Linux, any Linux operating system, that's very okay. But if you don't have, I would encourage you to reinstall and make sure that you install without a panel. So I would actually be able to install control panel here, but the problem is not licensed and this would require me to pay extra money. So I just want to do it plain. Now, in this case, I'm going to select installation without panel. Now then I'm going to give my password. Now, once you're done with that, you're just going to start installation. Accept, then start. So the installation has started and you can see it's pending so you just have to wait until the pro here shows finished so right now it's running and once you see this is finished then we go ahead to the next step and by the way if it is your first time watching videos in this channel uh please subscribe because i upload a lot of videos about vps web hosting and general programming and in in case this video helps you please help and share it with your friends you can also like and give a comment and now as you can see it has finished so what i'm going to do now is we go to hestia you come to this link hestia cp and then in this case you're going to move to install and you can see it brings you all the instructions here so the first thing that you're going to take is this then you're also going to use this for installation of different components but before we get to this we need to connect to our server using any means we can use ssh that's the most easiest way so now what you do is make sure that you know your ip address and of which it's this one for my case and then in case you don't see you just need to check through your vps provider until you see the the ip address now once you have that what you're going to do is you're going to use it depends on the operating system that you're using if you're using windows you can use any terminal that you have available for example if you have vs code you can use vs code terminal or you can also use cmd command prompts this also helps you or if you have git bash you can right click and say git here so it's all the same whatever you choose to use it's just fine so my case let me use the most simple one let me use command prompt because it's more straightforward now once you're in control panel what you're going to do you're just going to uh, log into your root so you're going to say ssh root at your ip address the ip address is this one i'm going to copy it then i come back here then i say ssh root at that one so now when you see something like this it means there is an old key which needs to be removed because i've been using it previously so i have to use a small command a small command which is called ssh key gain run remove so so going to remove this key from uh, the server so i'm going to come to this then click remove so it's cleared now now i can go ahead and run this ssh root at my ip address now it's going to ask you if you want to connect this um this host so you can just say yes then it's going to ask you the password remember the password that you entered when you're buying your vps hosting perfect you can see i'm now logged into contabo that is my vps provider now in this case we are going back to hestia and you can see there are options here the first thing that you're going to do you're going to get this command you're going to copy it and then you come to your root here and you paste it here press enter and allow it to install so you see it has already downloaded the install 
the installation script is 47.8 MBs. Now, this way it becomes very tricky. You just have to make sure you select the right options carefully. Now, for this case, I need to take the port. This I think I can leave it because by default it will bring 8083. So let me leave it out. So I'm also going to select the host name. So the host name is going to be your panel. For example, I'm going to call this maybe C panel dot arrowsoft because this is going to be my main domain where I'll be putting things. It's called arrowsoft.io. Then the username, I think the admin username, I'm going to call this Bentech. That's okay. You can also put the email as the admin email, whatever you choose. Then you're also going to put the password that is going to be used for your control panel. So just use something like that, as simple as that. And then there are other things here, Apache, if you need it. Then you also have PHP. So this is going to be managing your PHP scripts. If you want to be able to run multiple scripts for PHP, you can just put here, maybe for example, PHP 7, 8, as many as possible but i think i want i don't need this because this is still enough then uh vs this is for ftp it's going to help to manage the ftp you don't need this because you already have the other ftp then bind bind is going to is for the dns uh the dns server if you want your own for example it's going to be in your name i give an example like ns1 dot your domain dot com so it's this is this is what you're going to use but but for this case we're going to use we're going to use um for this case we're going to use cloudflare so i think i don't need this for now and then it be maria db let me use maria db we also have my sql but if i have maria db i don't need my sql exim is used for the mail for email so we can save this then dove code is basically also helps delivery and um, receiving of the mails cf is for managing the emails the custom the language for the emails i think i don't need this then this one so you can actually leave it as it is so if you're also planning to have a file system quarter you can actually save this but for this installation i think let me just leave it as clean as this then you can see as i was marking them everything came in here now everything is set in here so what i'm going to do i'm just going to copy the script then i come here and paste it then i press enter so now it's going to start installing straight away so you can say everything yes got to be a little bit patient because it depends on the speed of your server it can take up to like 10 minutes maximum or 15. and now you can see it has successfully completed and they're telling us to press any key to continue so let me press that and you can see it's already closed now when you look at this it already gives us this ready to get started login using the following credentials as you can see admin url you're going to select cpanel that uh arrowsoft.io it depends on what you set it but the most important one you're going to take this backup url which is uh your https then using the the IP address and port 8083. So I'm going to copy this and go to my browser. I'm going to paste it here and then go to that. So it's going to warn you like the connection is not private, but don't mind you go to advanced and click proceed. It's unsafe. Now you see it brings us to the section. Remember the username that I selected, then I used then login. Perfect. You can see this is the home page of the control panel. It doesn't look familiar like the normal control panel you have, but I promise you everything that you need it's right here. So I'm going to show you every step that we need to or before we get to that, let's first understand every feature which is here. So the first thing you come to when you log in, you can see the user and automatically it comes by default the user that you've been uh, using that you created with it which is an administrator so here you can be able to add another user for example you can put any other user that you need um, email you select and the password that you can be able to put there you can restrict this person from accessing the control panel if you want also you can send a mail then select the language you can select the user level the role either an admin or just the standard user then the package and everything that you can do here so web is where you're going to add all your domains let's assume you bought them from namecheap whatever register that you bought it from you're going to use this section and add the domain 
and you're going to continue then you put a domain so i'm going to add arosoft.io then you can put you can put support mail support but I let me leave that and you save it now when you come back to web here you can be able to see i have the domain here but ssl is not supported so that one we're going to activate it later on and then now we go to mail when you come to mail you see you need to add a mail domain because you're going to be creating some emails and so forth so what you're going to do just going to add then you put here so which domain do you want to use the email for you can select this arrowsoft.io then which version webmail client are you using so you can use roundcube then you're going to um, save it you can select these options like smtp relay but you need to when you have a host a username and a password so for this case let me first leave it as it is now you see when you come to mail you can be able to see we have added arrowsoft.io at the moment the ssl is not activated then you come to database In this case also you're going to be able to add different databases you can go to database continue then you give the name of the database and it's going to be mysql give it a name username and then you can give it um password if you want then you're going to give the email login which one do you use other things like advanced you can select then but that is just that and then creon is here backup you can be able to run the backups of your system and the most important i think that you're waiting for is the file manager so this is what you always love from the control panel because you're able to upload anything that you want from here but for uploads you can be able to come to the web then you select the domain that you want make sure you've added your domain already for my case is this one then you come to public html then you'll be able to put all your uh, root uh, folders you can be able to upload them right here so let me exit the, the control panel then i come back to the section you can also be able to make changes on the admin page and put in the details whatever you want to change here and another thing you there is um, statistics if you want to view that's not and support in case you get stuck just click on this question mark it brings you to the documentation here and under this section you'll be able to get any help that you need even if you want dns support you come to this if you want to see how many users whatever you need you'll be able to handle all them right here so you can also be able to toggle this to black in case you don't like that then that is just that now you have already set up your control panel so the, the last thing that i need to show you briefly is how do you activate the ssl certificate so you go back to web then you click on that you see you can now be able to come to this then you just click enable ssl then you use less encrypt and that is what you do but before you do that you have to go to cloudflare go to cloudflare and then you log in make sure that you have account now you see i already have my domain added here so first for now i'm first going to remove it for yes like that and then i'm also going to where i bought it from i bought it from hostinga now you can see the domain is here i'm just going to click manage and dns servers i've already added the cloudflare domain servers here let me first uh, um leave it or remove them and i first use default from so right now it's like this as you can see it comes with the default for hostinga and then you come to cloudflare and now what you're going to do you're just going to as you in the home page of cloudflare you're going to domains then it's going to ask you for the domain that you want to use for this case so i'm going to put arosoft.io and then you select this use this quick scan the dns records it's recommended then after that you're going to um select other options there is ai training those things that depends on what you like but my main case is just this quick scan then you go ahead and continue so you're going to select a plan that you need if you want if you have some money you can pay but for my case i just want to use a free plan so it's going to be using 70 rules and WAF rules 5. so just select free plan so you can see it has already done the scanning and you can see right now it shows that my domain is under contable dns it's picked it from here then you can see everything it has scanned it right here so what you're just going to do you're just going to continue to activate now they are showing us here we must delete these records and replace them with this for cloudflare so i'm going to copy this and go to my dns here i'm going to change the name servers 
change then remove this and put this from Cloudflare then I copy the second one I come to this and remove it just like that then you save it now you see it has changed and it might take like 24 hours but that's not true it's just going to take a few minutes and it's going to be okay so after that you're going to click continue so I had to refresh this and now you can see the domain has already been added and the status it's active so I can also be able to enable the security insights see I've enabled that now once you finish this now you go back you come back to your control panel here then you go to web and select this SSL this uh, domain then you're going to come here and click enable SSL for this domain you're also going to say use let's encrypt then you save perfect now you can see we have enabled it if you come back to web here you see the SSL certificate is now enabled if I visit my domain now and check it here you see it's very clean without any problem even if I want to use www it is still perfectly okay you see it's working perfectly www all of it is fine so we've already finished all that so what else do we need to do uh, maybe let me just show you how to upload something briefly so I'm going to file manager then I'm going to select web arrowsoft.io then I go to public HTML now right now you see it's here saying coming soon so I can be able to make change on that thing I just come to open this big HTML document here then I look for that word coming soon you see it's here so I can just just change hi I am Benjamin working on this website then you can also be able to say change anything so for example arrowsoft io is coming then you just save this perfect when i refresh this page you see arrowsoft is coming i am benjamin working on this site so that is basically what you can do in the next video i will show you how you can import your github repository and be able to run them automatically on your vps server i'll also show you many other things but for today we just wanted to see how the control panel works subscribe share and like the video